So I picked up the LG G7 FinQ because LG has done some pretty good work with the cameras. But after comparing the photos from the G7 to the iPhone 10, I was kind of surprised. Let's take a look. I figured for the color and vibrancy test, we start with a pretty popular subject, the flower shot. On the left, the LG, on the right, the iPhone 10. Taking a look, you can see the LG isn't as crisp and the colors seem more vibrant on the leaves than on the petals. As for the iPhone, the photo seems more harmonious and has a good blend of both vibrancy and sharpness. Now, LG introduced a new AI mode for the camera on this phone. It essentially takes a look at the subject and then tweaks the settings to make sure that photo is the best for that subject. But I noticed it does more harm than it does good. This is the same flower we just looked at without AI on. Now this is with AI on. For some reason, the AI thinks the petal should be more prominent and not the flower, and the color accuracy just seems way off. I tried this again with a different flower. First, no AI. This photo is actually sharp and the image isn't that bad. But again, with AI, the software pops the leaves and this time destroys the vibrancy on the center of the flower. I think the whole AI feature is cool and it's definitely something we are seeing more on other smartphones, but I think it still needs some refining. Now, let's move on to the dynamic range test. On the left, you can see the LG does an okay job, but for some reason it tends to over sharpen and the clouds look pixelated. Also, there's a lot of blue lost in the sky, whereas the iPhone keeps the clouds looking soft and saves more of the blue. Now for fun, I shot this again with AI on and woof. Just look at the grass and the treetops. This is unusable to me. Now onto the detail shot. This is where the LG somewhat shines. Taking a look at this wood, I can see a bit more detail from the LG than the iPhone. And the iPhone seems a bit mushy, so I'm glad the LG finally gets a point. Now let's try some low light shots. This is my basement. Side by side, you can see the LG doesn't really hold a candle to the iPhone. Near the boiler, you can see some outlets, but on LGs, you could just see a portion of them. Now LG introduced another little feature for their cameras and it's called super bright mode. And it's supposed to make the image really bright if it's in low light conditions. But again, we're dealing with harm rather than good. Take a look, you can see how washed and grainy the image becomes. Super bright just is not great. Now let's brighten things up and move on to the selfie camera. I asked my sister-in-law Taylor to help me with these next tests, so that's who you're seeing here. So if you didn't notice already, the LG, when it's not oversaturating things, it tends to make images bland. There's far more contrast on the iPhone's photo and we look a bit warmer. Although I will say it seems the LG kept more detail in my beard, I still prefer the iPhone shot. Now since we're in selfie mode, I figured we'd move on to portrait mode. Here's the comparison. The iPhone again wins here with the LG creating blotches on Taylor's arm near her watch. Now for the rear portrait mode, I think we have nearly a tie. I didn't see any blotching and both do a nice job of creating that blur effect. Now when it comes to videos, again the LG just looks bland to me. I'm not going to get too much into this, but just look at these side by sides. Which do you prefer? And as for image stabilization, I think again the iPhone pulls ahead. Now I don't want you to leave this comparison thinking that the G7 ThinQ is a terrible phone. It's not. There is some really great features. I think the biggest strength is the fact that LG decides to use its second camera as a super wide and you can gather so much more in your frame. But let's be honest, a wide angle and bland photos and shoddy AI does not make the G7 ThinQ all that great. Instead, it makes it really lackluster and I hope LG is able to make some changes in the future because they have really great devices. The design is great on this phone, the feel is good, has all glass, it's wireless charging, has a quad DAC. This phone has a lot to compete with, but if that camera is no good, I don't think many people are going to be rushing to get it. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you think the LG G7 is a lot better than I'm saying? Do you think the iPhone 10 doesn't do a great job? I'd love to hear from you because it's all really in the eye of the beholder. And for this case, my eyes say iPhone 10. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. We just moved into a new place. Our baby girl has been born and we've been kind of busy just getting things ready. If you have a video of mine that you want me to make, please make sure you tell me in the comments and I'll try my best to get that to you. I'm Ken the Mono Reporter and thanks for stopping by.